Use of desolve and growth and decay problems will start in main, grab the keyboard and head down to math 3 where we've got the prime, this fella here. Now, our differential equation y prime is equal to ky. We'll use the variables, then we've got k and y ready to go and tap execute. It's uh, everything's good. Now, we'll take a copy to a new line and I'm going to select it and head off to the interactive menu interactive advanced and here it is d solve for solving differential equations and uh, we're going to include a condition on this so off we go now our independent variable could be anything but let's go with t so we'll find a t and our dependent variable here is y so we can get that straight off the uh, keyboard there now our conditions are that when time is zero over here we're told that um, when time is zero uh, y is for 20 so we'll put in t equals 0 and in the next line the condition is that y is equal to 420 so everything's set to go we uh, tap OK and class pads come up with a suitable solution to that differential equation um, now to go and do some more work with it and uh, figure out the exact value of k uh, uh, given that after two weeks or whatever the t when time is two we've got a population of 500 we're going to go split screen with numsolve so here it is and uh, um, ah, here's the equation that's already there now if it wasn't there suppose clear all um, we just saw this then upstairs we just want to select the inside we don't want to take the uh, the curly braces down with us drag that into the equation box and tap execute and now we can set up to find k because we know that when t is equal to 2 that the population has reached 500 and we just need to solve for k so I'll tap on to solve and okay there's the value of k which makes um, solving other problems very easy now because for instance if we wanted to know um, uh, how long how many people will there'll be after five weeks we could just change t to five and solve for y the population uh, that comes out at 649 if we wanted to know how long it's going to take for our population to increase to a thousand say we could put in a thousand here and solve for t uh, and tap solve it's going to take just under 10 weeks for it to increase uh, that far so um, solving differential equations in main with a little use of numsolve. When we're finished, let's close that. The best thing is to remember always clear all variables once you've been using that numsolve. Uh, that just means that values stored for y and k and t will now be uh, uh, cleared.